once again we continue with act 3 scene 4 in this scene which is taking place in Belmont we are further saying the further evolving of unfolding of the scenes the plot Portia let her husband return and also Nerida's husband that she has not returned to Venice to help Antonio and send enough money with them that is what we could assume she wanted them to carry enough money so that they could pay the debt even 20 times or even more. However, she does not sit with that she does not remain she has her own plans. So here we see how resourceful Portia is. She is a good woman. She is not just a good woman. She is resourceful. She has her own plans and we know that is a center point of this play. Men are apparently little helpless. They speak a lot. Antonio is helpless. He got into trouble with Shylock. Messed up his business, has a lot of credit. Basanio is used to be wasting his money, leaving, squandering money, living loose life, maybe. Lost all his wealth, borrowed wealth money also he has spent up. But here, this woman is fully resourceful. She knows what to do and she has very clear plans. One thing is she is getting the sufficient know-how from Dr. Bellario in Padua. Padua is another city in Italy. So, someone who knows about law, she is getting some expert advice and some recommendation as a, as a lawyer, as a person of law to appear in Venice one. Secondly, she is also, she's also managing, giving the management of her household, her house to Lorenzo and Jessica while they are away and she is not revealing all what she wants to Jessica and Lorenzo. She is giving them the impression that they, she and Nerissa are going to pray, Nerissa and her. She would be praying in a, in a monastery for her husband, for their husbands you can say. So that is the same page number 142 of your textbook, Belmont a room in Portia's house. The previous scene was in Venice a street, here we are back to Belmont, Portia's house entered Portia, Nerissa, Lorenzo, Jessica and Balthasar. Balthasar is a servant, a minor character who appears I think only at this time in this play. So, she a minor character who is doing some small but necessary part in the play. Madam, although I speak it in your presence, you have a noble and true conceit. Although I speak it in your presence because you do not speak things to people directly or even we do not, we do not uh, praise people a lot or even it will sound like flattering. But Lorenzo is telling, I do not hesitate to tell you in your presence, you have a noble and true conceit. Conceit means understanding. Noble means of good quality of which are not the ordinary level. So, you have a good understanding of spiritual friendship. Spiritual friendship is not very well, very clearly mentioned by the words he is speaking, telling. You have a good understanding about what? Of God-like committee. Ah, this is where spiritual friendship is coming. You have a, a calmness French amity is not just friendship, amity means you are able to be in a good relationship. So, you can manage this particular situation of your husband's departure being away and maintain your calm that is what he is telling which appears most strongly in bearing the absence of your Lord. Lord, your Lord is your husband. So, you can bear this absence very well. 
very strongly your this good qualities are seen by the way you are able to bear the absence of your husband. This is what he is saying. But if you knew to whom you show this honor, but if you know, if you really knew the person for whom you are doing all this, taking all this trouble, who is that person? Antonio for whom Portia is doing, taking all the trouble and allowing her husband who is the, the day on the day of their marriage to leave. So, if you knew that person, how to a gentleman you send relief to such a gentleman, decent, good man, that's the gentleman. You send relief, you send health, relief is rahat, help. How dear a lover of my lord, your husband. I know you would be prouder of the work than customary bounty can reinforce you. How dear a lover of my lord, your husband. This particular person, such a close friend of your husband is, how close a friend he is of your husband, talking about Antonio and Bazzanio, about their relationship. How dear a lover, lover is friend. So, this particular person, my lord, my lord means it is talking about Antonio to your husband, to Bazzanio. I know you would be prouder of the work, if you know how close they were, I am sure you would feel proud, so proud about the work that you have done. Then customary bounty can enforce you, then the ordinary customary means which are regular usual acts of generosity, it is even much more than that, because you have sent help to such a person. can read the paraphrase once with you. Madam, I do not hesitate to speak to you in your presence that you have a good understanding of spiritual friendship. Now, he may be also suggesting that the friendship between Antonio and Basanio is of a spiritual kind. It is not just ordinary human friendship. It is shown in the way you bear the absence of your friend, husband the way you can manage the absence. If you knew to whom you have shown this honor, if you knew very well to whom you have shown this honor and how good a man he is, Antonio, how good a man Antonio is, to whom you have sent help, send, I already told you, send, S-E-N-D and S-E-N-T, S-E-N-T is past tense and past participle, V2 and V3 forms, help. How close a friend he is of your husband, how close a friend he is, Antonio is of your husband. You would be proud of what you have done. Your action is more valuable than your usual acts of generosity. Bounty can enforce. Customary bounty means again showing good uh, generosity. Portia, I never did repent for doing good. I have never regretted for doing good. People give some money to people, uh, donation to poor people, afterwards they, they, would, they would think, oh I have done, wasted my money, I should not have given. Portia's attitude is not so. She says, whenever I could do good, I, did, I, may, I might have done it and I never felt bad about it, I never regretted. That means she is so generous, she wishes to, she is magnanimous. Another word is magnanimous. Magnanimous means people who wants to be helping other people, great with generosity. It is a great large heart that is magnanimous. Nor shall not now. I never had a problem, regret about doing good. So now also I will not regret. For in companions that do converse and waste the time together, who source to bear an equal yoke of love, that must be needs a like, needs a like proportion of lineament, of manners and of spirit. Okay, this is interesting. What is lineament characteristics? Manners, behavior, spirit, your mind, mindset, everything, disposition, meanings are there, lineament. 
Now what is she trying to tell here? In friends, in companions, because in friends, those who do converse and waste the time together, converse means those who speak to one another or to each other and spend their time together. Here wasting means spend the time together. Sometimes we really waste time also with your friends. Friendship is not for any purpose. The time you spend with your friends are just free time or time which is lost. If you seriously think I have to make use of every minute or every second, then you may not have time for friendship. Friendship is when you children also, you people when you have friends, nowadays you may be missing your friends. A lot of time is just, just talking, but it is of no use. It is just a wasting of time. So we can think in that way it is a wastage, but it is actually spending the time together. Who souls to bear an equal yoke of love. What does it mean? Who souls bear an equal yoke of love? Uh, you know what a yoke is? I had explained to you, I think, earlier. Y O Y O K E. Okay. okay. I had explained to you when two bullocks are used tied together for plowing, a piece of wood is put on the on the neck of over the shoulder or we can the neck of the bullocks and on that only the plow is tied. So yokes are the one joining these two bullocks together when they are used for plowing. I hope you understood that. I had explained to it earlier, maybe I suppose to you. So you should know that. So yoke is something which ties you together. So yoke of friendship means there is a something which they, the friends are joined together in love. So if these friends are such that they are joined together in love, if they share and that bond of love, we can say this is also a bond. Shylocks was another type of bond, but this is another bond. Bond means you are tied together. There must be needs a like proportion of lineament. If there are such two friends who are spending time together, they are really close, they are really joined, they have a bond of love, then there is a need, there is a necessity that some similarity should be there. There needs a like proportion. That like proportion means some similarity in what? In their lineaments, in their characteristics of manners and of spirit, of disposition, very nature. So what has she, be say, she been saying? She was saying that if two friends are spending time together talking and if they have a strong relationship of love, then there must be some similarity between them. From this particular principle, what is she inferring? Which makes me think that this Antonio being the bosom lover of my Lord, B-O-S-O-M, the word is bosom. The, the pronunciation is bosom lover. You have to know this word, don't say bosom, it is bosom. She is my bosom friend. What means she is so close to me? Bosom is heart, your chest. So, bosom friend is a close friend. Bosom lover of my lord. She is being the bosom lover of my lord. Must needs be like my lord. So, this Antonio, who is the closest friend of my husband, must be in some way similar to my husband himself. So she has great respect for Basanio. She values, only sometimes we didn't really appreciate Basanio because we know that he has been wasting his money, he has nothing and he is trying to get a woman which would solve with a lot of money, a woman with a lot of money which would solve all his financial problems as we had seen earlier in the first act only. However, Portia has great respect and honor for her husband. So she says, since Antonio is a close friend of Basanio, her husband, he also would be of the, of the same nature. If it be so, 
How little is the cost I have bestowed in purchasing the semblance of my soul from out the state of hellish cruelty. If Antonio is such a good man like Bassanio, then how little is the cost I have bestowed? Bestowed means given. I have given only very little cost in buying back the semblance of my soul. Semblance, her soul is her husband. What is a semblance? Hmm. Likeness, likeness of my husband. The meaning is given here, not given here. It is said in the explanation, semblance, another word is semblance is similarity, likeness of my soul. When she says my soul, it is her husband. Her husband is her heart and soul. I am buying back or freeing the likeness of my husband from out the state of hellish cruelty, mm. hellish, horrible cruelty, horrible situation, bad situation. What is a horrible situation? Antonio is, may lose his life in giving a pound of flesh to Shylock. So, in getting him free, I have done only a very small thing and because he is such a great man, good man who is like my own husband. This comes too, too, too near the praising of myself. It is almost like uh, I am praising myself. Hmm? I am giving credit to myself. Therefore, no more of it. Therefore, I do not want to speak about it. Listen to other things. Hear other things. Lorenzo, I commit into your hands the husbandry and manage of my house. Husbandry is like a husband who is caring for the wife, yeah, he is given the management, the uh, care and the management of my house until my lord's return, until my husband's return. For mine own part, I have toward heaven and breathed a secret vow to live in prayer and contemplation. Okay. As for myself, for myself, or for my own part means, as for myself, I have made a secret vow. What is a vow? Vow, V-O-W, a promise to God. Vow is a promise to God. I have breathed means I have spoken. Breathing can have breathing, breath. But here it is uh, towards heaven to God. I have made a very secret promise to live in prayer and condemnation. Is she really going to live in prayer? We know that is not the fact. She is going to Venice, but she is giving, telling Lorenzo and others at home that she is going for prayer and contemplation. What is contemplation? That is meditation, sitting in, in a deep thought of God and such things, spiritual things, that is called contemplation, meditation. Only attended by Nerissa here. So, I will be going for this prayer and contemplations in a separate place. I will be only attended by Nerissa here. So, Nerissa also will be going with me. Until her husband and my lord's return. So, we will be doing that until her husband and my lord returns. There is a monastery two miles off. What is a monastery? Monastery is a place where monks live. Who are monks? They are, we can say they are uh, people who have nothing to do with outside world. They are spiritual people. Mm. They are, uh, can be priests, but those who live a separate life and those who are seekers of God, they are called monks. Where monks live, that place is called monastery. But uh, sometimes other people also can go and stay there and pray and all. So, two miles from here, there is a monastery and there we will abide. Abide means stay, we will be staying there. I do desire you not to deny this imposition. I really wish that you don't refuse me this uh, responsibility, this imposition. Imposition means something which a task given you with little force. You get imposition to write some things sometimes. That is imposition means imposed on you. It's a task given by force which you cannot refuse. The which my love and some necessity, 
now lays upon you my love hmm? which my love and my present necessity now i have a need that uh, you stay here and take care of my household we can read this paraphrase once because it's a very lengthy dialogue and there are some things which you may have to understand i have never regretted for having done a good deed i never had any problem doing good things neither do i repent for it now even now i wouldn't feel bad about it when two friends spend their time together show deep respect for each other and when their souls are joined together by the same bond of love there must be some similarity in characteristics behavior and disposition between both the both of them this makes me conclude that antonio being the dearest friend of my husband must be like my husband this is a case there is hardly any sacrifice made by me to save the likeness of my husband from such a horrible misery hellish cruelty horrible misery that sounds too much to uh, too much like giving credit to myself so i shall say no more lorenzo i entrust to you the care and management of my household until my husband comes back i have made a solemn vow solemn means very serious one big one but here uh, a secret one she says secret and solemn are not the same solemn means very big big one very serious one big celebration is called solemn live in prayer and meditation with no other attendant except nariza till our husband's return there is a monastery 2 miles away and there we will live i request you not to refuse the task which my love and my present necessity make me place upon you my love means she is telling that you are in my love that means you are trustworthy and you are a person whom i can depend on lorenzo says madam with all my heart i shall obey you in all fair commands all the good commands request you make i will honor ah uh, i will obey you fair is honored such an honorable thing that you are requesting me to take care of this household i think we'll stop this audio here it's got lengthy enough and in one more audio i think i can finish this lesson